Yep, little bubbles gone red. That's excellent. Okay. So you've just been watching some video clips of some people who've had results using the Herbalife products and also um, with weight loss, but also you'll have seen some sports stars there as well. So I'll talk a little bit more about some of those things that you've seen later on. Okay, let's just flick to our weight loss challenge. Okay, so welcome to, this is week one repeated, so if you were on last week, we have actually already covered this, but um, doing something twice is never a bad thing because you always pick something different up um, on a second visit. Hopefully the recording will work this time and we'll be able to put that up on the Lose Weight Oz page so that you guys can play it back again or share it with a friend or if you haven't been able to be on the call this evening you can watch it later because I appreciate that some people are busy and I know I've got people in different time zones <laughs> of uh, wanting to be part of this project so awesome okay so welcome to the weight loss challenge so this week we're going to talk about protein and the importance of protein in your diet but also the importance of protein in losing weight I should also say that at the side of your screen you've got a little box for chat so if you have anything you want to ask if you just type it in there I can organize I can um, um, have a chat with you know answer your questions as we go so that's the the spot to um, type in any questions that you have okay so oh, something funny has happened there here we go so this is a picture here of me um, the picture on the left is um, a couple of years ago and the other picture is me much more recently um, 10 kilos difference between the first picture and the last if not a little bit more um, so I've used the Herbalife products now for about a year um, in the first couple of months I moved 10 kilos without really feeling like I was trying I just did two shakes a day took my supplements and the weight just appeared to melt off I was incredibly skeptical that this was going to work no way am I moving from eating real food to doing shakes uh, but the difference in my body the difference in the way I feel is amazing um, as well as having lost the 10 kilos I've and my mental clarity is heaps better um, I feel younger my the metabolic scales actually show that my body's only 23 instead of 38 um, you know, I feel better, my sports recovery is much better, um, I can back up day after day after day, and although I know I've done the exercise, I don't have that horrible lactic acid build up, so certainly my body is in far better shape than it was a year ago, and I really notice that every single day with my energy, which is really consistent through the day, whereas before I get to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I was exhausted. How am I going to find any energy to get to the end of my work day, let alone what I need to do in the evening? So products do work and however skeptical you are um, it's really worth giving it a try and you will not be disappointed so just a few um, things to do with the um, how we're going to organize this because obviously slightly different from doing a live challenge which we're doing as well um, here on the Gold Coast so what we need to do each week is we'll do um, a weigh-in now I'm going to ask you to email in for me your um, weight your weigh-ins each week or you can text them to me as well um, we'll need to look at you taking some measurements uh, before we start and then we'll review those again in week six and also it'd be great if we had a before photo so we've got something to compare it to at the end of the challenge and you'll be really amazed what difference you can make in just 12 weeks okay so doing your weigh-in each week if you could weigh in on Friday morning that would be amazing because that means we'd have the information ready for these calls in the evening but if that's not quite going to work for you, just let me know over the weekend what your weigh-in figures were. Now, just so that we can verify that the weight that you're weighing in is for that day, if you could just take a photograph of your scales with the weight and then put today's newspaper next to it. That way we can verify the date or what's on the news that day against the scale so we can have just a, a photographic record of that. And you can email that to me or just text that through to me, whichever is easier. I'll, my details are on the, at the end of the slides. So that's how we'll organize the weigh-ins. And each week we'll talk about who's lost, what, how much they've lost, what they've lost, um, and particularly how did they do it. Because that's really important so we can learn from each other little strategies um, we might take on and try ourselves. So the next thing we need to do is to look at how we take good measurements. Now I'm just going to pull up. Um, a slide of how we do that. Just bear with me a moment. 
it's in there somewhere. Um, I think it's in this one. How to take, taking good measurements. There we go. Just thinking about it. Okay, so this slide here shows us how we can take good measurements. So one of the things we'll ask you to do, and we'll actually give you a record sheet to put these on. So we'd like you to take a measurement of your upper chest. So under your armpits, but with your arms down. Might need to find a friend to help you just to do these. Um, the second measurement goes around your chest. So you place the tape measure on your nipples, men and women, and just measure around that largest point just there. Um, measuring around about halfway down your left arm and halfway down your right arm, you definitely need a friend to help you measure there. It's really tricky to measure your arms on your own. Uh, round your waist, we place the um, tape measure on your belly button, and then round your hips, and the widest point, and then round your right and left thigh. Now you may find if you're right-handed that your right side measurements are just slightly bigger than your left side measurements, and vice versa if you're left-handed. That seems to be pretty standard for um, most people, that they have slightly more muscle development on their dominant side than on the other side. So. I'll send you that document and also send you um, a sheet that you can record your measurements onto so that um, you've got a record. Because one of the key things is about losing weight is keeping a record so you know whether you've gained a little bit, lost a little bit. So you know whether you need to cut back or whether you need to um, add a bit more on. So, okay, let's go back to cut slide. So how to take good measurements. So we've gone through that one. Now, how to take a good before photo. So this is a picture of Morgan. Um, on the left-hand side, there's Morgan as a, what she describes as a couch, a size 18 couch potato. And on the right is her size 8 hourglass. So she lost a phenomenal amount of weight using the product. Um, so if you see, she's just standing slightly sideways on rather than like face onto the camera and then just turned her face. But if you just look at the two photos, there's a phenomenal difference in, you can actually see in those photographs. But standing about 45 degrees to the camera is a really good way. So find a friend or take a photo in the mirror, but take yourself a good before photo. So you've got something you can look back at and go, oh my goodness, was that me? I can't believe how much I've changed. Because sometimes what you feel isn't the same as what everybody else can actually see or what's in the mirror. So it's really important to do that at the beginning. Now you need to set yourself some goals. Why? Are you, are you interested in doing this challenge? What will happen if you don't lose weight? Now, I'd like you to write down at least three goals. By the time you get to the third one, it should be more difficult. But you, by the time you get to the third one, you should really be to a point where you really get into the nitty-gritty of why you need to lose this weight. What will happen to your health? What will happen if you've got some big event planned that you need to be in the best shape of your life for? Um, so, yeah. Write down three goals, and when, we, when I give you your one-on-one -on -one call, that will be one of the things that we'll talk through. Okay. Uh, for those people who've just um, come on and since I just started, if you have any questions, just type them in the, top, in the chat box at the side, and I'll, um, I'll answer those as we go through. Okay. Now, as we said, this week we're talking about protein. So what is protein? What does it do? Where do you get it? And how will it impact on your weight loss and on your well-being? Because uh, it will impact on both. So protein. Protein is quite a complex molecule. Um, it's made up of lots and lots of different amino acids. Um, some of those amino acids your body is able to manufacture. But there's about eight or nine that your body actually needs to get from the diet. So they're for the essential amino acids. And it's absolutely vital that you need those. Some of those, one called particularly called methionine, is actually the beginning of every single protein that is made in your body actually starts with that. So every enzyme that's made, every hormone that's made, actually that's like the starter. That's like your capital letter for a protein. So if you don't have that in your diet, obviously your body can't make proteins. And if it can't make protein, it hasn't got all the ingredients, it can't make a perfect protein. Uh, and that's partly what causes aging is that over time your body doesn't have all of the components it needs all of the time so it makes the best job it can with what it's got. So protein has two main jobs in your body. It's there to build. It's there to, to build muscle. It's there to help build bones. It's there to help build um, ligaments, um, hormones. It will build um, 
brain's gone blank, enzymes in your body. And it's amazing how many enzymes are in your body and what they're up to. Um, things that just from like saliva in your mouth contains enzymes through to the enzymes that are in your digestive tract, enzymes that are in your liver, your spleen, your pancreas, all helping to keep your body working to its optimum. And the other thing it's there to do is to repair, because over time we know that our body, you know, gets damaged, cells die, needs replacing. Um, for instance, if you cut yourself, you're going to need some protein to help to rebuild that part of your body and heal it up. And we know it just heals up. It's pretty clever. That's what it's designed to do if it's got the tools. So where are you going to get protein from? So there's a few pictures there on the screen of places that we commonly get protein from. Uh, but you can also get some proteins from um, vegetable sources as well, particularly beans, particularly soy. Um, they're really good sources of protein. Um, now, one of the um, handouts for this week, which I'll direct you to later in the call, um, gives you a list of different um, items of food and how much protein is in each one. Um, and I will also explain to you in a little while how you know how much protein you need. So, for example, with egg whites, so you leave out the yolks, you would need seven egg whites to get 25 grams of protein. And for some people, that's a quarter of their daily allowance. For some people, that's only about six. So it's quite, quite a lot of eggs to get that 25 grams. Whereas if you were eating a piece of turkey, um, you might need um, 100 grams of turkey breast would give you 30 grams of protein. Beef for about the same amount would only give you 20 grams per 100 grams. Chicken's a little higher at 85. So 85 grams will give you 26. Um, and pork is very similar to um, turkey at 29 grams of protein per 100 grams. Um, fish comes in pretty good. So if it's ocean caught, um, 100 grams would be 25 grams of protein. Tin, little tiny tin, 70 grams of tuna. They come out about 18 grams. So they're really good for little snacks and we'll... I'll talk about those a little bit more. Um, beans and lentils do contain proteins. Um, so beans or lentils, quinoa, tofu, perhaps veggie burgers. So there's lots and lots of different things. Um, our Herbal Life Formula One shake, if you serve it with milk, will be about um, 20 grams of protein. Um, our protein bars come out about 10 grams. And if you're adding protein powder, you can increase that. Uh, my, uh, my breakfast is probably around the 30 grams of protein mark. Um, so certainly that making sure that I'm giving my body heaps of protein to help it build and do the thing, make sure everything's working properly for me. So I'll, I'll make sure I give you the link to where you can find that sheet at the end. Now how much protein do you actually need? Well the protein required would, does depend on your BMI. And you can calculate that. There's a couple of apps you can download that just calculate your BMI. I see for you things like your height, your weight, your age, and it will give you a BMI. So I've done one, for example, on a BMI of 25, which is right at the top end, I believe, of the healthy range. So on that, that person would, I've worked out there, would need 89 grams of protein a day. Um, and the little tracker there, um, some of you who are VIP clients will actually have that um, tracker that's on the screen there in your VIP pack so you can actually grab it out and work it out for yourself or I can talk you through over the phone how to, how to use it but it's fairly straightforward. So if your BMI is higher you will need more protein and as your BMI drops you'll, you'll be able to decrease your protein but certainly having heaps of protein in your diet helps you to feel, feel full. Uh, protein takes longer to digest so it sits around a lot longer in your body while your body breaks it down um, takes more energy to break it down, it takes more energy to keep it healthy. So your burning protein is much better sitting around in your body than fat. It's a lot better. It's burning fat, it's burning energy, it's burning calories, raising your metabolic um, levels. Um, so that's really, really helping your weight loss, all those other things we want to move along. So as part of the challenge, um, we asked that people would take the plunge and for the first, first 30 days would be to use our Herbalife products. Um, so I just wanted to run through what you needed to do with each product so you understand how to take them. So we'll start with the shake. So with the shake, two shakes a day and one main meal just cut back. So you could have your shake for breakfast and lunch or you could have your shake for breakfast and dinner 
and have your normal meal at lunchtime or if you're going to go out for breakfast you have proper breakfast cooked breakfast whatever and then you have your two shakes later in the day so that's really important to make sure you're keeping your the balance of everything your body needs one of the things that's different between um, just losing weight and using the cellular nutrition program to help you lose weight is when you're losing weight you're thinking about cutting back cutting back cutting back cutting back while you're doing that how do you know that you're still giving your body a complete balance of everything you need it needs when you're cutting back so by doing it this way the shakes make sure that you give your body everything it needs every single day so that you've got complete nutrition and then your body can actually just start to work the magic um, they reduce calorie to help with that calorie control but two shakes a day one meal just cut back um, with portion size anybody that's in the get um, get healthy uh, what they get get level 10 with herbal life group on Facebook will have seen that um, there's a post about that your meal should be about the size of your hand so if you're a bigger person you need a slightly bigger meal if you're a smaller person a smaller meal so if you could put your hand by your dinner plate that would give you an idea of how big your portions are to help you with the just cut back part of it um, maybe put it on a smaller plate <laughs> then it doesn't look like you've only got like what I describe as a mouse meal um, so that's with your shakes with your tablets so you will have in your quick start pack you will have had um, a cellulose tablets you will have um, Kydazan tablets you will have multivitamin tablets and the NRG so those you need to take three times a day at meal times ideally just before you eat I find if I take them just before I eat I don't forget them if I take them just after I might be watching the telly put my plate down watch something on telly the critical thing is that they need to be within 20 minutes for the Kytazan to work effectively you need to take it 20 minutes before or 20 minutes after your meal if you miss that window it's not going to be very effective so we just quick whiz through which, what each one does and some people have upgraded so I'll talk you through some of the upgraded products as well so the cellulose helps to balance your water so it's not stripping your body of water it's just making sure that your body has the correct balance in the cells and between the cells to make sure that you're getting the optimum efficiency for your water and your cells are working properly the kytazan um, is the fat absorber so you take kytazan with your meal any extra fats in there can, will be absorbed and passed out without you even knowing but it's not going into your body if you're going to be for whatever reason eat a naughtier meal then you can double up with those before the meal so you could have two or even four you know if you're going out for dinner so you can still enjoy it but you're actually getting some benefits from the product the multivitamins absolutely critical that you take those every day the shake and the formula one uh, sorry the shake and the multivitamins are designed as a one package unfortunately we can't put them all in the shake together it's the science behind that doesn't work that we get the benefits from that so it's it is two products but they're the absolute core that you need to have both so that you've got um, it's effectively like having a Ferrari the, the shake is is the wheels and the multivitamins is the engine if you don't have both bits the car doesn't go anywhere so you need to have both of those to make sure you're giving your body complete nutrition through the cellular nutrition program every day now the NRG is quite a personalized pro um, product it might be that you need to take that every single day every meal for me I probably take it about three or four o'clock in the afternoon on days when I'm feeling I need an energy pickup that's what the products designed to do um, so it really is personalized some people find that um, they you know helps them get started in the morning other people take it mid-morning when they're feeling a bit low um, but really personalized you can actually even take it before you go to bed because of the way it works it works to balance your energy levels rather than um, send them sky bring them right up or <laughs> and so it can actually help you calm down it can actually help you get to sleep which is seems a little bizarre but it's quite good if you're really quite wound up going to using that to go to sleep is quite good um, if you're upgraded then we also have the awesome herbal beverage um, and that actually you drink heaps and heaps of that that's cool we use that um, and call it uh, drink as you, what's it Dr yeah shrink as you drink so for me when I started taking the herbal beverage um, as a palm really my parents failed because I didn't um, get taught to drink tea 
Um, but since I've been drinking the tea in the first two or three weeks, I actually lost two kilos just by that was the only thing that I changed in my diet was I added in the herbal beverage. And I probably drink two to three liters of that every single day. Um, so you mix it up in hot, cold water. Um, I personally like to add a splash of aloe to mine, particularly first thing in the morning. Um, but you can drink as much of that as you like. So it raises your body temperature a tiny bit. It means your body has to work hard. It means it burns fat. So while you're drinking, it's burning fat. It's great. Um, people have suggested it probably burns about 80 calories um, per hour that you're drinking it. So, And if you upgraded to an ultimate pack, you will have also upgraded to the flora fiber, which is a probiotic, which will help get your digestive system in fantastic shape, and also the aloe. So the flora fiber is a tablet. You take it with everything else three times a day. The aloe, now the aloe is like you shower on the inside. So it helps to cleanse through your digestive system to really make sure it's working at absolute optimum. So again, all the nutrition that's coming from your food is going into your body. So it helps to keep it really clean. If you've got digestive issues, it'll help to settle those down. And just take it a couple of capfuls in a glass of water first thing in the morning and the same last thing at night. And you can have a swig in between if you like, or if you feel that, that would, it's helping. For my dad, I know he drink, he has quite a shocking digestive system. And this has really helped him to really get rid of some of his symptoms and really alleviate things and improve his quality of life. So it's a really, really awesome product. So if you have any questions, though, about how you should be taking your products, then shoot me a text, shoot me an email. I'll be on the phone to you on a regular basis making sure that you're taking them correctly. Um, the products do work, but if you don't take them or if you cheat too much, then they don't. Um, they're the only two reasons they won't work. Um, as I've explain to people it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If it really isn't working for you, you really can't stand it for any reason, we can organize a refund. Okay, so what do you need to do this week? So we'll need to book a time to do a one-on-one -on -one wellness evaluation, either in person or over the phone, depending on where you live. I'm happy to, um, if you're local, to meet up or we can do it over the phone. Uh, we'll need to do before photos before weights and before measurements, so we'll need to get those organized this week. Um, we'll need you to write your goals, why you want to lose weight and what your target is, how much. Think about how much protein you're having in your diet and we'll look at increasing that. Um, one part of our wellness evaluation, I'll work with you and we'll work out how much, but in the meantime, think about increasing your protein. And also we need you this week to learn how to take those products correctly so you can really get the maximum results. Okay, so if you need to contact me, um, my phone number is there at the top, leave a message. If I'm at work, leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I get a break. Uh, my email's there. Um, you might get a message back from Mark if he's, uh, my husband, if he's accessible and he knows the answer to your question, he'll, he might shoot back a message as well. So if you get a message from Mark, that's why. Um, we have our Mark and Tracy, Tracy and Mark Facebook page. Um, we have there the lose, link to the Lose Weight Oz page. And also um, information sheets. They're on weightlosssystempro.com.au. So you just, it's a free website. You just um, jump on, give, get yourself a login. Now, there's in, all the information sheets are on there. So if you head to the week one, it says protein. So you can download all the notes and all the things we've talked about. In the bonus section, you'll be able to find um, the sheets to track your measurements and also to track um, how you do your uh, recording and things like that. So all, all that information is available there as well. There is also some awesome little video clips from um, some of the Herbalife doctors and there is another section on there which we won't talk about necessarily as part of the challenge but you're very welcome to go and have a look where we've actually got some links to some fantastic exercise videos by Samantha Clayton. So Samantha Clayton was um, an Olympic sprinter. She um, ran with the UK team um, and she's working with us at Herbal Life as our was it no excuses um, coach. You know, she says you know five minutes a day for exercise, and then we'll work from there. So if you need some little ideas of things you can do, there's a whole series of different things you can do there for your arms, your whole body, for your legs, heaps and heaps of different ideas. Okay, so that's the end of um, the call this evening. I'm just going to double check that what questions we have. Okay, so uh, with the one-on-one um, -on -one calls, um, I'll email you and we'll try and organize a time 
that will work so that we can just put about half an hour aside to have that cool okay um, as for the shakes absolutely if you want to add bananas and honey and stuff like that you the calorie count is deliberately low so that you can vary them up and you can add different things so you can have vanilla shake with lots of other options to, so it feels like you're having something different every day for me I try and make often I'll make one shake in the morning but I actually make enough to take for lunch and I just chuck it in the fridge at work and I can pull it out when it's lunch time um, the shakes will go you can make them probably a couple of days in advance um, if you're making them on soy milk not too long in advance obviously because milk's not going to stay off oh while well, I'm thinking about milk do not do not do not use cow's milk <laughs> big rule do not use cow's milk uh, most people find they cannot tolerate that quantity of cow's milk um, so soy milk rice milk almond milk straight water water and ice absolutely fantastic but just don't go down cow's milk you if you do you'll regret it and you'll go oh yeah she said that so so that's just a really really awesome tip there so yeah and um, one of the things I'll make sure I get to everybody is some ideas for recipes um, there are really no rules on recipes. If you've got a banana and you want to throw it in the blender, put it in. If you've got an orange, you can throw that in too. I know my husband likes throwing in whole lemons. Just chop them up and chuck them in. Um, seeds and all. So, yeah, but any questions that you have, just, you know, send me an email. I've, there's quite a few ways that you can contact me. I wonder if I can go back up. No. Um, yeah, so welcome. And we look forward to working with you to get in the best shape of your life. So thanks very much, everybody. And we'll chat next week and share some stories. Thanks. Bye.